low cost electric commute, it's been a dream for a long time. Well, it looks like that dream may f soon be realized with the Solo, yeah, right? Jeff, what are we looking at here? So I, uh, we certainly hope so, I think. This is an all electric, single seat, 100 mile range, all electric vehicle. And it's, it's basically, as you see it, it's kind of a small car, single seater, but it's basically designed as a commuter car. So people in big urban centers, people that need something a little bit just to go to the grocery store or maybe to work and back, uh, that's kind of what this was designed around. It's a purpose-built vehicle uh, for people that kind of need something like that just for a commuter vehicle. And it uh, gives you all that advantage of electricity. Uh, you can just plug it in and how long does it take to charge? For sure. It's environmentally friendly, obviously. It's all electric. It's not a plug-in parallel hybrid. There's no motor up front. There's a frunk. It's extra storage up here. You've got a 100-mile range. So for most people, I think uh, the statistics are 83% of people commute as a single occupant back and forth to work on a daily basis under 36 miles a day. So if you're in a place like Southern California, you're in a place that you, know, that you don't have to drive that far for work, which most people don't, this car is perfect for you. You don't need extra seats, you don't need extra uh, weight, uh, and you don't need gasoline. So that's that's most important. And it, it, it looks like a, kind of a mo motorcycle, but not quite, right? An auto cycle, I think you said? Yeah, it's kind of a hybrid. So it's it's called it's designated as an auto cycle in most states in the country. Uh, that's something that we've done in the last couple of years because before it used to be two wheels a motorcycle, four wheels a car, and then you got different designations of class two and three and four trucks uh, based on gross vehicle weight rating. This is an auto cycle. So that basically means it's three wheels, it's a, a single enclosed cockpit and it's got a steering wheel as opposed to you know handlebars in a motorcycle and it's got pedals uh, just as you would in a regular car for accelerator and a brake and that's it and you don't need a helmet or anything like that yeah that's 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 the designation so you don't in past you would have probably had to have a motorcycle helmet and a motorcycle license actually to operate the vehicle now you don't have to because of this auto cycle designation but it also has all the comforts of a car air conditioning heating uh, that sort of thing yeah it's got the traditional hvac it's got a radio it's got bluetooth it's got a heads-up display it's got everything that you kind of need and that you would expect in a regular car it's got the the heater blower it's got a windshield wiper you got everything that you that you would have in a normal car and even a backup camera it also has a, um, uh, a both as you said the front as well as uh, the rear storage and uh, that amounts to quite a bit of uh, cubic feet right yeah and in fact it's it's 10 cubic feet of storage between the front and the trunk uh, which is equivalent to a Mercedes C-Class and so if you can fit everything that you need in your Mercedes C-Class you can fit it all in the Solo and it's uh, it's been a Kickstarter type project, right? So why don't you kind of tell us, you know, the evolution and where you are? It hasn't like a Kickstarter. It hasn't been crowdfunding. It's been uh, fully funded by the development engineers and the people that own the company. It started as a company called Inner Mechanica, which has been building Porsche 356 Speedster replica vehicles since the 1950s. So we kind of tapped into that manufacturing expertise up in Vancouver and partnered that with this all electric variant and this model, this design of a single passenger commuter car, and we kind of molded those two together into. What you see here the solo but you actually have a lot of pre-orders right we do we have uh, about 19,000 pre-orders right now we just launched the vehicle in september just announced it we've built about 20 pre-production prototypes we've got a couple in the hands of customers locally in vancouver we're going to start deliveries uh, probably in fourth quarter of 2018. Wow, so you guys have your work cut out for you, but you also have a manufacturing relationship, right? We do. We just signed a manufacturing agreement with a company in Zhongshan, China. They've been manufacturing motorcycles for about 100 years now, so they have the excess capacity that we don't have. They've also got the engineering capabilities and ability to take our CAD CAM data and our design and our engineering and put that into a car and manufacture mass quantities for us, up to 75,000 units in about two or three years. And what you're holding in your hand, I think, is a testament to uh, what this is. Is about right? yeah we just got into this the IHS marketplace innovation award at CES for for automotive now now granted we're the only automotive manufacturer in this uh, this facility right now and for this event but uh, it's still nice to get to get an award for what you do and kind of show that we've accomplished something here now going forward how are we gonna find this to buy is it going to be at uh, where's it going to be so currently online we're taking $250 fully refundable deposit so if something changes if you don't want to take a delivery when it's available for you then you don't have to you can get your money back $250 deposit that basically puts you in line in addition to those 19,000 other pre-order holders um, once we open the order book we just got approved for certification you'll be able to order your color your interior things anything else that you want air conditioning all that kind of stuff uh, and then that'll give you a delivery date and then based on that uh, we'll start deliveries uh, as soon as we can get them out to you.
And the uh, starting price is? Starting price in the U.S. is $15,500. In Canada, because of the exchange rate, we still sell them in Canada, it's just under $20,000, about $19,800. So that's before federal credits and incentives. You get a tax credit here in the United States uh, for upwards of $7,500. And then in, in states like California, you get another $2,500. That's for a passenger car, but it's income-based, and you have to check with your local state and, uh, and find out what you can qualify for. And that's what I was curious, if it would qualify for the passenger credit or some other credit. Yeah, because it's an auto cycle, they're all kind of, I think all the state legislatures are going through like what exactly this is. On a federal level, it's got to go through Congress and by 2019, they have to make a final decision on what this thing is, you know, but for right now, they've got kind of a loose definition of what it is as an auto cycle and the credits will be applicable based on what that is. And I would imagine uh, another big benefit is uh, the high occupancy vehicle lane, right? Yeah, the HOV lane is big. For a lot of commuters, obviously, especially in California place other places Seattle everything's traffic congestion is getting like out of control right so this is you can't really lane split in this but you can use the HOV lane with it because it's an all-electric vehicle and we're under the threshold of 200,000 units so we haven't achieved that yet and I mean we eventually probably will but until then it's it, it uh, qualifies for the HOV lane and from a safety perspective it looks like it's pretty solid yeah it's it's all carbon composite body shell it's got steel reinforcement frames in the side body it's got a occupant protection zone kind of like a roll cage in the middle of it so for rollover for uh, crash and then it's got front and rear crumple zones and the batteries are built right kind of into the frame yeah and the batteries are built in the frame rails kind of on each side of the of the occupant uh, down below so all the weights in the bottom of this it's about 1400 pounds total but all the weights in the bottom so you don't get body roll uh, you know body roll is all about kind of weight distribution and you know, semi trucks and things like that. You see those kind of tip all the time. This is this is so weighted and grounded. Uh, it's also got aerodynamics that kind of pushes, pushes down, down force down. So yeah, you don't feel it at all. And it's got rear wheel drive, right? A single rear wheel drive. Single rear wheel drive. Yeah, front drive, front brakes, rear brakes, everything that you expect. Well, good luck with this. I look forward to thank seeing you. it on the road. All right, thanks, thanks. Ben. I appreciate Take it. Take care. All right, you too.